Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you were doing really, really well. Okay, so we have the Devil, Major Arcana. We have the Three of Wands and we have the Knight of Swords. So when we see the Devil in a reading, the Devil, as you can see, as he's sitting here um, above the couple that is chained to each other. This is a card that represents the actions, the beliefs, the things that we do that get in our own way, that limit our progress. And this can include uh, being obsessed, being addicted to something, you know, whether it's gambling, whether it's alcohol, uh, unsafe situations. It can be um, addiction to sexual desires or physical pleasures. And so with the devil, there's a sense of this represents the things that are happening within your life that may be getting in your way so that you can have full success and full enjoyment. But there's some darkness perhaps or some negativity when the devil shows up and the devil is just a reminder that uh, this is something that should be paid attention to that you maybe need to address so that you can move forward to a new positive place and you know it's always interesting about the lovers here in this illustration is that the chains are loose around their neck. They could stand up and take them off and try to walk away. And it really goes to the, the human condition, which is at some point, maybe you have to stand up and decide that you're going to change some of the behaviors. And so, um, you know, with the devil, it may be a pursuit of physical or material pleasures or, or a focus on that instead of what you need spiritually. So this is a reminder to reflect on what's going on and is there an area of your life or actions that you take that are not serving your best interest, that are holding you back or getting in your way, or maybe creating a mindset or belief system where you put yourself down and maybe you you kind of um, drag your confidence down. So this is what the devil is bringing to this reading. Then we have the three of wands. And we see the figure, he's looking out into the horizon, the ships on the water. And so really, this is a look at the big picture kind of moment and to realize what the future may hold. And so with the three, wand, three of wands, you know, it's a sense of really getting in there, beginning to manifest. And so this could relate to a new business venture, partnering up with folks, collaborations, um, expanding your business or expanding maybe your personal projects. But there's a sense that you feel ready to move on or to um, bring in a new experience or a new adventure into your life. And so you really, you want greater and perhaps more fulfilling possibilities. And you have a sense that, um, I think you have a sense of what may happen. And that's kind of a sense of leadership. And so uh, this is to me, this is very much of informed exploration that with the two of wands you were thinking about it you were considering many things here you're leaning on the wand it's supporting you wands are about passion enthusiasm and so it's a step forward into a new place for you that's going to bring you you know into um, a new experience and so this is uh, don't have that don't let the fear hold you back. And, and it seems that perhaps that this, the devil reminder 
is that maybe some things have to be taken care of before we can move forward with exploration, with new enterprises, with looking at the big picture. It's take care of maybe the couple things that you have to address. And again, with the Knight of Swords, we see the Knight here. He's on a quest. He is, is charging right in. He's on his horse and moving quickly. There's a sense with this card, looks like he's very single-minded. He's very focused on what's happening, and it can be you want to move forward quickly into this new exploration. And uh, this card with the Knight of Swords, there's an understanding of using a good strategy to get there, to being well-informed, to have, do, have done your homework, and to be decisive. And with the swords comes clear thinking and logical thinking and analytical thinking and often uh, clarity. So uh, this is relying on facts and uh, what you have researched and what you understand that's going to allow you really to, to, to move forward with the Three of Wands. So it's a it's a day of it's a day of really thinking about the big picture. That uh, the the devil requires some attention, and the Knight of Swords is a is a uh, encouragement to be prepared, to think rationally and logically, be decisive, and move forward with with a single focus. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have 15 and 3 is 18 and 1 is 19 and 19 reduces to 10 and 10 further reduces to 1. And 1 is about leadership, it's about inspiration, it's about beginnings and originality. So quite interesting for Saturday. Let's go ahead and I'm going to select an oracle card from the Soul Tree Oracle to get a little more information uh, for the reading. Interesting, patience. Patience, so while we have the Knight of Swords who is moving forward, charging towards whatever he is, is questing after, then we have the patience card, and, and the patience is the, is the great virtue. And no matter how big your dreams are, or how big your plans are, or the, uh, what you're striving for, and dealing with whatever matters need to be dealt with, um, patience is uh, it's a key component to getting to a successful place that not everything happens in, in linear order or uh, easily, and that whatever adversity may come your way, whatever obsessions or issues or problems or, or negative mindsets may turn up, is that you have, to have to, have to, you have to have the patience to look at the big picture and to keep doing what you're doing to get yourself to where you want to go. And patience is, uh, it's just in our need for things to happen immediately and our need for things to, for uh, immediate gratification. We have to really get back to having patience to working hard and hoping for and planning for and moving toward what is important in our lives. It's not going to happen with uh, flicking on a button or you know snapping our fingers. It's going to take work and belief and faith and time. So I hope that you have a great Saturday and I hope it's productive and enjoyable for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to stay connected and to join our wonderful community of tarot enthusiasts and 
spiritual seekers. And so I hope I will see you again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Take care. Bye-bye.